In the Variables tab, which you access here next to the tab for Outline, CFD Post allows user-defined variables to be created, which are functions of basic solver variables such as pressure, temperature, velocity, mass flow rate, wall shear, and so on. To create a new variable, right-click in the top half of the Variables tab and click New, like you see here. Three methods are available for creating user-defined variables. The expression method defines a variable via an expression, which can be a function of any other variable. Normally you would create the expression first in the Expressions tab, and there's an example of this available in the appendix. The frozen copy method is obsolete and has been replaced by case comparison, which we will discuss soon. The gradient method calculates the gradient of any existing scalar variable in the process creating a new vector variable. To create a table in CFD Post, select Insert Table or else use the toolbar icon. When you do this, the 3D viewer will switch over to the table viewer. What a table does is allow you to display data and expressions in tabular view which is easier to read, and tables are automatically added to the report. Cells in the table can contain either text or expressions. When you're creating expressions, if you use the drop-down menus, like you see here, it can be easier because you don't have to worry so much about the syntax. An equal sign is used to distinguish between text and expressions, and the expressions are evaluated and updated when variables or locations that they depend on are changed. One pointer is that the table is not a spreadsheet, even though it looks a lot like one, and because of that there's some things that you can't do, like having a cell reference another cell. To make charts in CFD Post, you create lines like you see here, then create the chart from the toolbar, in the details of the chart, you select the chart type, which in this example is an XY plot. Then you tell it which lines you want to create the data series for, and which variables you want to display on the X and Y axes. 